Hello, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, what I'm going to tie today is a little olive fly for you. It's a dry fly for the rivers and it is really effective. So first thing I've got in the vise is a Hanak 330 barbless hook. It's a medium wire hook. Now I know it says 12 here, but actually the sizing is probably more akin to a 14 than a 12. And the first thing I'm going to do is not use thread, I'm going to use some of this Hens body quill material. And if you want the exact colour, it is BQ35. And it's, it's a really nice olive that I'm going to just lash onto my hook. No wax, no glue. Just get it on. And bring it down towards the bend of the hook. I'll just remove my waist now. And what I want to do with this is just build up a nice olive body. I think this stuff was originally designed for peregrine nymphs, but I've used it for all manner of different things over the years. And uh, this is one of the best purposes I've found for it. This fly. Okay, now I've got near back to the thorax again. I'm going to just adjust my hooking device as all my work's going to be done at the thorax end. Uh, I'm going to cast on my next thread in a minute. It's the Vivas GSP. I'm going to run some off and just get a bit of wax on. And then I can catch that in just above the eye. And there I've got it. Now I'm going to bring the body coil stuff and catch that with a couple of wraps. Like so. And then I can come in with my snips and remove all of that. Okie dokie then. So I'm going to add a bit of bling to this fly. And the way I'm going to do it is with a bit of Mirage Tinsel. This is the Opal flavour and it's enlarged. I've already taken a little bit off and I've got, I've cut it diagonally so I can have a tag to attach it to the body. So I'm just going to bring, excuse me a sec, that in like so. Catch that in and then I can bring that near to the front of the hook. Now with a Mirage, I could really have done with a medium rather than the large here, but it's the only one I could find in amongst my disorganized fly tying kit. So I'm stuck with what I've got and I'm just going to turn. Because it's so large actually, you only need a couple of turns of this. And then I can come in and secure my tinsel. I can see it buckling up there at the front. But I'm not worried about that because I can tidy that up in a minute. So let's just tidy that mistake up. Like so. I don't know what that is that's got in there, some hair's ear of that. Now before I go on, I'm going to just give my body a little bit of protection. I'm not going to use Solaris. I'm going to use some of this uh, stuff. It's per Perdigon resin that's what it's designed for but uh, i also find it helps when doing dry flies because it's very light you, you don't need a lot of it. it takes a bit of practice to uh apply is what i would say it, it's very runny and you just need to maybe have a couple of goes with it before you you start um working with it full time. I'm just going to loosen my vice off, make sure I've got all that body covered. It's nice and thin and, and because I'm only using this very thin UV resin it's going to remain that way. Just put the lid back on and then I'm going to come in with my UV pen 
and make sure it's cured properly. Just turn it, get the underneath. Okay, just lock the vice down again. Next, I'm going to grab a little bit of snowshoe. This is dyed olive. It's a great material. I love this. I like I like working with it. I like the effect it gives. So I'm just going to off camera snip a little bit away, and it really gives a wiry, buggy effect. I've got far too much here, though. So I'm just going to take a clump of that away. Only want a few strands which when it folds back, it will just give the effect of legs. And I need to trim a bit off the front, which I'll just do off camera there. And I'm gonna catch that in. Okie dokie, content with that. A straight piece of there. So it's starting to look pretty good. Let me have a look at what you're looking at. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with that so far. Now next, I'm going to add in my CDC. You can buy CDC all different flavors, as I'm sure you're aware. Uh, you can buy the Ultra Select CDC, which is, is fantastic fun to use, but it's, it's really expensive. I uh, rely on the generosity of friends that do a bit of shooting in the winter. And this bag came from Phil Thomas, so thanks very much, Phil. Uh, I get other feathers from various people. I've got friends that shoot deer, rabbits, and I'm always on the scrounge for various bits and bobs. If it saves me money, it's certainly worth a, a please and a thank you. Next then, I've already selected some of the feathers out of that bag, and I've taken a little bit of time just stacking them together. I'm just going to change them over in my hand and what I want to do is get the feathers so it's naturally comes to their end and I want it to be just over the total length of the fly so I'm going to just change back dress it up to the hook and that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to hold it in my left hand, trim away what I don't need, bring all the tips to just above the eye, and then catch it in. Make sure it's tied down securely. And what I'm going to do is just put a half hitch in here. To hold that in place. Now what I should have done really. Before I put the uh, the CDC in place. I should have put plenty of wax on my thread. Because that does help with securing, securing it in place while you're tying. Now next to finish this fly off. There's a couple of things you can do. You can just dub on a little bit of um, hair's ear or a, a bit of duff, dubbing. What I'm going to do is go back to my snowshoe and I'm going to take some of the really soft fibers from inside there. Just pull them out. As you can see, I've got some, I don't know if you can see actually, but I've got some of the old, the longer, more translucent fibers in amongst that. And uh, that's ideal, because it's just what I want. I'm going to take my little clip and pop them in there, like so. Back to my thread then. It may need a couple of twists just to bring it so that it'll open up for you. Again, the trick with the needle, get the needle in behind. Split your thread. 
like so. Then I can pop in my tiny little bit of dubbing that I've put into my clip. And spin it up. Just takes a little second to spin up. And while it's doing that, as I said, you don't have to use snowshoe. You can use absolutely any materials you like. But I don't need this much. Yeah, that's far too much for this fly. So all I'm going to do is just skim it down like so. And that's more akin to what I want. I'm going to lick my thumb and forefinger, bring everything out the way, and I'm going to cover up that messy spot at the front. Everything back. Again, just for safety's sake, I'm going to come in and stick a half hitch on. Now, uh, I would usually just finish this up as close as I can and just use that as dubbing. But I'm going to just create a head on this one. And before I finish it off, a little bit of Solaris resin on my brush. everything back out the way and then you can build a nice little head come in at the front give it a blast with the UV Then in with your snips, in at the back, and you can tidy that all up with a little bit of brushing from your dubbing brush. And what you've got is a very, very effective little fly, and uh, even when all of a sudden aren't hatching off, I'll often go prospecting with this and uh, it always produces something or other they'll come up and smash it and you can just have a look at that footprint um, I, I do think that the, the little bit of bling just in here brings fish up in nowhere so there we go a little another little olive pattern for you to have a little think about maybe have a little play about with the materials uh, thanks very much for tuning in